So we need to calculate the average rate of change, or in this case the average velocity, on the following intervals. And to do so, the best thing to do is we need to identify the outputs because we're looking at a rate of change which is going to be change in output with respect to change in input. So at 4 seconds, we see that we have a height of 32 feet. And at 5 seconds, we have a height of 14 feet. And so now we can calculate the average rate of change between the two. So we could say, all right, 14 minus 32. There's our change in output, our change in height. And then our change in input, 5 minus 4. And we get negative 18 over 1. Or we can simplify that to negative 18. And we really want to pay attention to our units because that's going to help with our interpretation. Well, our, in, our output was in feet. Our input was in seconds. So we're looking at negative 18 feet per second. Now that we've done the first one, the, se the second two are pretty similar, so I'll just point out any nuances. First, we want to identify the outputs that go with the input at one second. The grapefruit is 26 feet. At three seconds, it's at 40 feet. So, our change in output over our change in input, so we sometimes see this delta notation represents change, is going to be 40 minus 26, which, if we look at that, just let's not do the change in time just yet, that 14, what that is is the change in position of the grapefruit. It's gone up 14 feet. Well, how long did it take to do that? Well, that happened between 3 and 1 seconds, so it took 2 seconds to go up 14 feet, or 7, and again, the units will be feet per second. And we can make sense of those units in two different ways. <clears throat> One is that it's a velocity. It's a change in position with respect to time. So feet per second is the units on a velocity. Also, we can do it just from the numbers. We, we subtracted two things in feet and divided them by two things we subtracted in seconds. Last one, at time 0 it's at 4 feet. At time 5 it's at 14 feet. So we have 14 minus 4 over 5 minus 0, which gives us 10 over 5, or 2 feet per second.